I think the most difficult part of cleaning an iPhone is just knowing that you're touching somebody else's grime and muck. It's disgusting, really, when you think about it. I can already see that we've got quite a lot of gunk in the ear speaker and the speaker grills themselves. So hopefully there'll be some gunk in there to see and we can give it a real good clean out as well. Lint builds up from inside somebody's pocket and over time when the charging cables inserted, taken out, reinserted, all that happens is it just compacts into the charge port itself and leaves this sort of mess behind and all this lint over time it just compacts every time you put it on charge it just compacts deep down into the port when you start noticing the ear speaker becomes quiet the microphone people can't hear you or it's not charging correctly you might have to stand on your head and do a backflip just to make it charge that's probably when you need to start thinking about cleaning out that charge port or the ear speaker I'm using this little BGA scraper, which is typically designed for scraping the uh, resin overfill or underfill from logic boards, but it doubles up as a really, really useful tool for cleaning out these charging ports. The stuff what we usually find in the charging ports and crevices of the phone is mostly either pocket gunk or fluff from the bottom of handbags. I mean, I'm not a forensic scientist, but I'm going to guess that it's dog hairs, dust, fluff. I, I don't really know how to describe the, uh, <laughs> the fibers that are in there. Other things that we found in the phone, rice is quite common when phones have become water damaged because they'll stick the phone in rice. That doesn't work, by the way. We did find some weed in one of them and it, it looked like they must have been keeping the stash in the pocket and it the same thing again. There was weed inside the charge port. So this iPhone 7 is coming for a battery replacement and you, as you can see, it's absolutely full of dust, lint, hair, wood chip, feathers, you name it, it's in this phone. Well, I can see that the screen's been replaced before. I think they've probably just never replaced the dust seal what's on there. This is really common because, believe it or not, not many repair places will replace that dust and moisture seal. So the best way to clean something like this out is to get all the thick stuff, probably with the dust blower. There is definitely a risk that this dust could cause a short circuit on the on the motherboard. It's going to put lots of strain on peripheral hardware, like the loudspeaker is going to be quiet. The vibration motor is not going to work very well, or you're going to get funny sounds from the vibration motor. A lot of people think that it's just for moisture. It keeps a seal between the screen and the chassis of the phone, which out of the factory is designed so that it's sealed away from elements like dust and dirt. Ear speaker cleaning is one of the things what we get all the time where somebody's phone's really quiet. 10 to 20% of the phones what we get in actually need cleaning out. The easiest way to clean out an iPhone ear speaker is using some isopropyl alcohol. The customer will ask for an ear speaker replacing, but in reality, it just needs cleaning out. And even if we did replace the ear speaker, it probably would still be quiet because that mesh is just bunged up and gunked up. Then we loosen up the gunk with a toothbrush. Make sure that it's not the toothbrush that you've used this morning to brush your teeth. And then we play this sound, which plays a 165 hertz sound, which acts as a sort of ultrasonic cleaner. For the most part, I think that the most common thing that gets in ear speaker is probably ear wax. I don't really want to think about what else it could be, what's getting in there, because it's, yeah, it's gross.
we use two different types of brushes. I'm a, for, for the softer brush, we use a toothbrush. And then a slightly more stiff one is this small horsehair brush. The vibrations act as an agitator and it, it loosens the dirt what's in those tiny little gaps in the ear speaker. So the cloth over the speaker, we add a little bit of alcohol onto there. And the way that that works is just adding a finer layer of cleaning stuff just to get any remaining bits of dust out of there. So for this one, it's an iPhone 11 Pro and it's got a little bit of gunk in the speaker grill at the bottom, which would make the phone pretty quiet. This is very similar to what gets built up inside the charge port. It's just pocket gunk. The best tool for this one is the sharp pointed BGA scraper again. The debris in these holes will often look like a brownie sort of beige color whereas the actual speakers are black. So you'll know that you've got it in there. I sort of got involved with fixing friends and family's phones, sorting out technical problems for them. And once I started learning about phone repair, I just got deeper and deeper into it. It's like a rabbit hole and I just got fully sucked down it. We receive about 20 iPhones per week in the post and we probably take in from walking customers between five and 15 phones a day. You get lots of instances where somebody might bring a phone in and it might be a minor thing and they say, oh look, my phone's completely dead. And it's, it's really good to see people very happy once you've repaired their devices. The, the build up inside the charge port usually occurs when it's been placed into your pocket. I can't even keep a straight face when I say it anymore. Right, 